Hi there YouTube and wherever else this is being posted. Today we're talking about the new moon on the 25th of October at 6.48 a.m. in the sign of Scorpio. I apologize in advance for my very crude chart here. I am not able to get the chart up on my computer with all of the different asteroids, um, etc. that I add in addition to what we're already going to discuss. Plus, I am computer illiterate. Forgive me. Um, so the new moon in Scorpio, that is a kind of new place. It's dark. It's, it's something like you want to keep your emotions to yourself. You want to keep there's something new that you're feeling that you're not sure of. It's very dark. That's very deep. That's very personal. This isn't so much an emotional place as it is a place that you don't want to express your emotions and that you keep them bottled in. Now, some of the things that I want to briefly go over today is this in conjunct between Saturn and uh, Pallas here. Um, Saturn at 18 degrees in retrograde in Aquarius and Pallas at 19 degrees in Cancer. So these two, Saturn is the wise old man of the Zodiac. In Aquarius, that wisdom is really weird. It's different. And because Saturn is retrograde, you're really not sure if you're doing the right things or not. Now, Pallas here in Cancer, Pallas is... Um, called Pallas Athena in mythology, a very strong womanly figure in Cancer, which is the sign of the mother. So you're talking about the very strong motherly figure in Cancer. Um, now with this in conjunct, that tells me that something is not going right with the mother, whether that's you, you as a mother, there may be a new pregnancy announcement, um, but so, there may be a child that you're struggling to discipline. You're not really sure how to handle them with this in Aquarius. So the uh, watch out for those. The other thing that I want to talk about, you see all these things at 21 degrees? So we're going to start with the square here of Lilith and Psyche. So Lilith is a very sexual, sensual um, asteroid. And Psyche is an asteroid that really prefers to be in Scorpio um, because it's the deep parts of the mind. It's the deep parts of the Psyche. It's um, kind of dark and mysterious, and it's the, the places in your mind that you really don't want to go. So with Lilith and Psyche being squared here, um, Psyche is in Libra at 21 degrees. And Lilith is in Cancer at 21 degrees. So there's a deep, dark, sensual thing going on in your mind that you're trying to balance because you feel this emotional connection. So it may be that you're having fantasies about things that are really dark and disturbing and you're trying to balance, Libra here, balance. You're trying to balance those emotions, Cancer, um, and how to really uh, deal with them. Obviously, there's no real acting on any of this. It's very mental. Um, Libra is very mental. But Lilith is very emotional. Um, so I'm hoping uh, that nobody acts on these dark urges or these dark thoughts that are coming in, um, especially in regards to relationships. You may be trying to find a new way to spice up your relationship. And if you're single, um, I hope you're not considering taking something from someone. Um, but this is a very dark placement that I'm very concerned about um, in the sexual aspect of life. Um, you know, and it may be that there's something that comes up in the news very soon or even on this day, um, especially it being right around Halloween, that um, there may be some like mass rape or something. I'm hope I'm hope hoping that it's not. But this is absolutely concerning um, that there are so many dark, disturbing fantasies in the mind um, that are trying to be balanced Um but coming in an emotional place. But be careful. So 
Um, something else that is square here is Saturn and Uranus. Both of these are retrograde. Um, Saturn and Aquarius, again, the wisdom is random and backwards and you're not sure. Uranus and Taurus, um, retrograde is creativity is stifled in the home. Um, Taurus is a homebody sign. Uh, it is, um, how shall you say, uh, they like to be steady. They like to be put. Um, they like to eat. So the creativity in the home with pets, even, um, the, the freedom of mind, there's some kind of stifling fog that's going on and you're not sure with this square, Saturn and Aquarius, and this is, Saturn is retrograde, so you're really not sure how to handle this fog, you're kind of going with it, and it's a very heavy square because these are very heavy planets, um, something to keep in mind. So, a couple of pieces of good news. Um, we have some semi-sextiles, which just means that these are learning placements. Um, then we have actual an actual sextile here between two of the asteroids, Sappho and Psyche. Um, and then here we have a larger trine between Mars and Vesta um, at 24 and 25 degrees, which is good action um, in an innocent way. So kind of like protecting the innocence, um, but the person that may be acting may be playing both sides, so please be careful. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for watching. My name is Shannon. You can follow me on all the lovely places that I can be followed on and liked in all kinds of ways. Um, and you can get readings with me, etc. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.